As one of the world's largest oil exporters, Saudi Arabia has long been highly dependent on traditional fuel vehicles. In recent years, with the trend of global energy transition and the enhancement of environmental protection awareness, Saudi Arabia put forward Vision 2030 in 2016, among which vigorously developing new energy is an important goal. Most parts of Saudi Arabia have a tropical desert climate and the surface temperature in summer often reaches more than 60 degrees Celsius. Maybe we will have a problem with the AC condition. Uh, it will be cooled down slowly and maybe we will feel hot. Because our weather is very, very difficult for the EV vehicles. It's the safety about the battery. Saudi Arabia introduced the first U-Tung battery electric bus into operation in 2023. Now, the battery electric bus will face an extreme heat challenge with a surface temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. How does it perform in extremely hot weather? Let's wait and see. Hello everyone, I'm Hawil, the account manager of Saudi Arabia markets. Today we're gonna kick off our extreme heat challenge in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, which you can see here the ground temperature is over 60 degrees. And today we're gonna test the power consumption of the E11 Pro, which is behind us of the vehicles. Today we are honored to invite our engineer, Mr. Rami Asri, which from, uh, he is from Subco, the electric engineer and also expert. And also our product manager, Mr. Kevin. Today we're gonna together witness the extreme summer challenge together. Sir, I'm pretty sure you already getting sweaty thing like me. So it's all white, the shirts everywhere is shirts. And you can see the temperature of the vehicle inside currently is 53 degrees. Now we start counting down from the turning on the AC to this temperature currently. I'm pretty sure currently you, we already feel the wind coming, blow, blowing our face. Rami, let's have a test of the current uh, the temperature. I think it's uh, 27 minutes. The cooling from the 53 degree reduced to 23.6 degree. It's really a huge reduction. For this 100 kilometer test, uh, we must guarantee the bus is not cheating with us and also the whole operation must be witnessed from your side. As we can see here, uh, the SOC of the bus is 96% and the kilometer is 110,387. Yutong E11 Pro are equipped with pure electric intelligent variable frequency AC developed by Yutong independently, tailored for high temperature in the Middle East. The maximum cooling capacity can reach 38,000 kkl. Wow! Also, Yutong developed the control system originally for high temperature. When the temperature is higher, the cooling capacity is bigger. To enhance vehicle safety, Yutong's new generation of high safety superpower batteries a layered fireproofing and heat insulating structure. The last battery can withstand temperatures as high as 1300 degrees Celsius. This ensures that Yutong's new energy vehicles can operate very safely even under high temperature conditions. The vehicle also adopts integrated liquid cooling plate technology. Also, the liquid cooling will reduce the maximum temperature of the battery. During charging at high temperature, the charging current will not be limited due to high temperature. The vehicle is equipped with an anti-condensation structure and a mud protection structure, which can adapt to high temperature and dusty weather, ensuring the reliability of vehicle operation. The drive motor will act as a generator during downhill coasting and braking, enabling the recovery of braking energy. Also, for the vehicle, the heat insulating material and dark gray full enclosed double layer glass will provide excellent heat insulation and noise reduction. Every day 300 kilometers. 300, 300 kilometers, one time only charging. Other bus, 
yani sometime ada easy you know also driver very nice as we can see now uh the mileage is 100 uh, 10500 and the uh, soc is 72 percent the vehicle already traveled 113 kilometers really appreciate mr rami and mr kevin's efforts for today and luckily we achieved this with this setting goals and uh, with this such a low fuel consumption status After the 113 kilometers power consumption test, Yutong E11 Pro has proved its reliability with a power consumption of 0.74 kilowatts per kilometer under the extreme surface temperature of 60 degrees Celsius in Saudi Arabia. E11 Pro, which meets the public's daily needs for green travel with reliable performance. At present, There are more than 4000 Utong buses operating in Saudi Arabia. The reliable and efficient operation performance of Utong's new energy products has already been recognized locally in Saudi Arabia. In the future, Utong will continue to develop the Saudi Arabia market and provide more customized new energy products to meet the diverse demands of the market. In 2024, from the extreme cold challenges in Kazakhstan and Norway, to the extreme heat challenges in Saudi Arabia. Utong bus has undergone performance challenges under extreme temperature variations of nearly 100 degrees Celsius. Utong bus will continue to undertake extreme challenges worldwide. And the next stop is Australia.